Well, spring break is in full swing, and instead of hitting the beach, some students in Orlando are using their time off to give back. Yeah, the teens came together to build a beehive for an Orlando fire station. News 6's Brian Didlake was there and has the latest buzz. Hammering to make a change. We really have the frames and we uh, put them together with nails and uh, we build the hive from the bottom up. Yabdiel Sanchez is a sophomore at Jones High School in Paramore and is a part of the team building beehives to help pollinate the nearby area. Black Bee Honey is a student-run business with the Paramore Kids Zone aiming at providing healthy food options for the Paramore community while also taking teens like Sanchez and exposing them to new things. We've learned uh, how to be entrepreneurs, leadership skills, how to be a salesman, uh, you know, different qualities of life. This is Black Bee Honey's second colony. The new man-made bee colony will go on top of Orlando Fire Station 1 to give bees access to its green roof and community gardens. The honey produced here is set to be sold in Paramore as well as various restaurants. Orlando Fire is teaming up in hopes to set examples for young people to follow. A lot of times it, we hear a lot of negative stories about the youth, but today this is definitely positive. Since 2006, Paramore Kids Zone says youth employment programs like Black Bee Honey have helped reduce juvenile arrest and teen pregnancy rates. City officials hope this will inspire other young people to give back. Uh, here you have especially an African, a young African-American youth uh, that are involved with nature and, and, and bees. And I mean, it speaks volumes uh, not only to that, but also working with other public servants uh, to, you know, to, to serve the city and, and provide a resource to make the, this the city beautiful, beautiful. The honey coming from these new colonies will be available in the following months once the bees settle in and pollinate the surrounding area. Black Bee Honey said that they will be infusing this batch with peppers to create a new flaming hot honey. So you can expect that in the near future. In Orlando, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.